comic book people of the world, did you know that DC Comics is going to be releasing four different titles exclusively to Walmart? I know, right? Of all the retail stores for them to pick, Walmart is the one they're going to be exclusively releasing these titles. None of DC's regularly running titles are going to be cancelled. The store is released to Walmart, most of them are going to be taking place either outside of continuity or in different timelines or different continuities or some of them really don't have any place whatsoever. Of the four different titles that were already released, the one that I want to talk about is the Teen Titans special. I mean, just look at the cover, it has my favorite version of the Teen Titans on it. As the cover page suggests, it's a 100 giant page special. It contains four different stories. The first story is titled, Enter the Disruptor. Immediately when I saw that, I thought of The Collector from the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episode. Anyways though, this story was written by Dan Jurgens, and I don't think that this fits in in any continuity that's been established in the Rebirth universe in DC, or anywhere in the New 52. I say that because the Robin in this story is Tim Drake, and he only has one R on his chest. And he's also working with Beast Boy, Raven, and Starfire, which to my knowledge, they've never really worked together as a team, not in the New 52 universe at least. Although I am quite thankful that he's in this story, because you know what, Tim Drake, he is my boy. The villain, the Disruptor, actually has the ability to disrupt people's abilities. His meta enhancements are exactly what they sound like. He can disrupt people's powers, or he can disrupt their line of sight. But he's attempting to steal a technological piece, which is just simply called an amplifier. And it turns out he's trying to work for Hive. And it leaves off where he is successfully auditioned for Hive, and it looks like he's going to be fighting them in the next issue. Dan Jurgens is attempting to put a lot of humor in this by focusing on Beast Boy and the fact that he ate an entire pizza that was supposed to be spread out between the team. The second story is written by Jeff Johns, and it doesn't really have a title, it's just simply called Teen Titans. This takes place in the previous DC continuity when Jeff Johns was writing Teen Titans. This is essentially taking place after the storyline graduation day, which was a crossover between the Titans and Young Justice. We see the actual recruitment of Connor Kent Superboy, Cassandra Sandsmark as Wonder Girl, Bart Allen, also known as Impulse, but later to be known as Kid Flash, and again my boy Tim Drake being recruited as Robin. Hells yeah! This story ends with Robin getting an email from someone known as Snapdragon, letting him know that Superboy has two daddies. One of which we know is Superman, and the other one happens to be Lex Luthor. Oh my god, no one saw that coming! Obviously I'm joking, everyone knew that already. And we already know that Superboy takes this completely calmly, and he's not gonna overreact at all. Sarcasm! The third story is called When I Grow Up Part 1, and it involves the Super Sons, Jonathan Kent and Damian Wayne. The story was written by Peter J. Tomasi, and it involves Damian egging on Jonathan to join him on an adventure. Again, but this time they're breaking into LexCorp to ironically look into some of the break-ins already happening. This wasn't a bad story in any way, it just feels as though I've already read this story a couple times already, where Jonathan is being egged on by Damian. The only difference is that Lex Luthor is involved in this. The final story involves the character Sideways, which is titled Fun and Games, and it was written by Dan Didio. Sideways is a new character being introduced in DC's New Age of Superheroes that Dan and Didio is desperately trying to push. The character Sideways himself is not bad in any way whatsoever. His powers include interdimensional teleportation and some super strength and some invulnerability. It's obvious that some of the characters in the New Age of Heroes are being ripped off of Marvel characters, which is nothing new. Both sides have been ripping off of each other for a bit, but one of the problems I really have with this character is that one of the taglines or descriptions of Sideways is that with greater power there comes greater liability, or something to that effect. So anyways, I do respect DC for creating new characters, I'm just not really invested in this guy and I don't really care that much about his story. And this leaves off where he's going to be fighting off a villain, whether or not it's going to be a regularly occurring villain, or whether or not it's just going to be a one-off one, we don't know yet. If his stories are going to be involved in the future anthology series of this book, I will continue on to read it. Otherwise, I probably would not purchase a comic book just based on this character alone. So those are my thoughts on this first issue. I'm excited, I'm going to continue on reading the series. I mean, if you put Tim Drake in it and Connor Kent, I'm there. The book is labeled at $4.99 and is only available at Walmart. However, there are digital copies available on Comixology as well. Don't go to eBay though, because some of the sellers are inflating the prices that are ridiculous. But let me go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for watching me. If you made it up to this point, you're pretty darn awesome. Check out my Patreon site when you get a chance. Check out my social media sites. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Hit that notification bell so you know when future videos are coming out. And I'll join you guys in another video very soon. Peace, love, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm in love with you. Really cool if Tim Drake as Robin, not Red Robin, did actually work with this incarnation of the Teen Titans. Right now, we really don't even know what happened with everything with Rebirth and the New 52 and how everything is working together. So this could be a possibility.